beast. All right, sweet. We got Miss V-Beats on the back. No sissy bar on this thing. It's a 2018 Harley Davidson Softail Heritage. Got the blacked out windshield. This is the <laughs> Miss V-Beast is squeezing my, my man boobs. <laughs> I can't even tell what color this is with my visor. Red. This is the red one. Man, I really like this bike just sitting on it. Wow. Alright, here we go. Man, its brakes are pretty good. I like the brakes. Clutch is extremely light. Amazingly light. I lean forward a little bit. There's no sissy bar. Alright, this thing definitely needs a sissy bar. Woo! It is quick. Just like the other 107s. <laughs> Wait, is this the 107? It is the 107. Alright. First off, this thing just definitely needs a sissy bar. Definitely when you're riding two up because she's about to like rip my ribs off. Alright, blinker game. Man, the downshifting is just butter smooth. I love it. It's fantastic. The brakes, super grippy. I mean, there's hardly any shake whatsoever. This never translates through camera. I mean, there's... Wow, like hardly, the Sportster has more shake. Like way more shake. <laughs> Miss VBs is gonna fly off the back for crying out loud. It is not uh, fun riding two up without a sissy bar. <laughs> Oh man, so far so good. I like this bike a lot. It's uh, I like it. The bars are very comfortable. Woo! Yeah, this thing has some nice power. Extremely nice. Fantastic guys, freaking awesome. Definitely, like I said before, not like the Harleys before at all. Wow, this soft tail, it rides smooth. I don't even know what I got it up to. Speed wise, wasn't that fast. 50 miles an hour, I guess, that's the speed limit. Uh, the downshifting is, that's oh, amazing, listen. Yeah, the downshifting is amazing. Super smooth. The clutch is smooth. The transmission is smooth. The suspension is smooth. The, the freaking power band is, I love it. The 107 is great in this, in this, uh, this new frame. Wow. Like I said before on the other ones, holy, holy moly, holy cannoli. Oh wow, I like this thing a lot. Now, it does not have a heel-toe shifter, which I'm very used to a heel-toe shifter, and it doesn't have one. And this thing idles at, look at the idle, I don't know if you guys can see it, 870, 890 RPM, wow. Idles extremely low, which is kind of cool, you know, I bet you the, the pipes sound really good on this thing. Oh yeah, this thing has great power. I just can't get over that. The power is amazing. The power delivery is amazing. All right, let's go over like some of the aesthetics. No, we're stopping here. Um, the the uh, the floorboards. I'm I'm used to floorboards. I'm used to these massively huge floorboards. These don't have really huge floorboards. But you know what? They're comfortable. And from what what I understand. They're actually smaller than the previous floorboards. Wow, this thing leans in great. So yeah, the, the floorboards, ooh, I get to really 
Wow, this thing really loves to go into the turn. It sticks in the turn. And I'm riding two up, guys. Oh, yeah, this is great. I like that. Woo! Wow, yeah. Dude, this thing is fun. And it's the classic one. I can't imagine the other ones, for crying out loud. And I'm riding two up. I was talking about the floorboards. My, you know, my feet aren't hanging off, but they're very comfortable. I guess the shape. I don't know the shape. I feel very comfortable riding on this thing. I'm not real cramped. I can see actually going long distances with this thing. The the uh, throttle response is awesome. It's uh, let me see. I rode the Indian, and I want to say that this is throttle by wire, but I can tell by looking at it that it is not throttle by wire. It is electronic. Yes, it's electronic throttle but it does not feel like an electronic throttle it still has a little bit of like spring and give to it just a little bit you know that feedback you get from a uh, a wire or a uh, throttle by wire or cable throttle by cable it has it has that feedback in there I mean it's not just like a toy like the Indian was just it was pure garbage I hated the throttle on that thing. It just I felt like I was gonna break it for crying out loud. Oh yeah, this thing's the the lean angle's great on this. I'm I'm kind of leaning it over a little bit to see what kind of clearance I get, and it's it's got plenty of clearance, guys. And it, I mean, this bike just looks amazing. If you want some classic look, but kind of custom to it, because it has blacked out pieces all over the bike, I mean, this is the way to go. I actually really like this thing. I wouldn't mind getting one of these, for crying out loud. I, I like it a lot. You got your RPMs digital, and then your, uh, your speedometer is um, analog, so it still keeps a little bit of that classic. And on the other models, it has... Oh, I hit a bump. Oh, I didn't even feel it. That was nice. On the other models, it has all the uh, the uh, RPM and everything. It's right here on the on the clamp, and that's cool. But I really enjoy it on the tank. I just have to do like a really quick glance down with my eyes, not even my head. I don't have to like do that. I'm just doing that to show you guys. But everything's on there. You got your blinkers, neutral oil, uh, brights. There's your other blinker, and it has hazards. Uh, man, this thing, the only thing that I would want to put on this besides the sissy bar and the obvious stuff like pipes, dang, I can't get it into neutral. Let me see. I always have a problem with other bikes. There you go. Just give it a little rev, pops right into neutral. Uh, yeah, the only thing I would put on here is a heel toe shifter and a sissy bar. And this thing's, wow, it's comfortable, guys. Big truck in the way. Got, man, it has so much power. Miss V Beast is gonna be like, you can throw me off of the bike. Yeah, wow. But this thing is extremely comfortable. And we're I didn't even mention the windshield. Uh, I'm usually you know getting a buttload of just wind buffeting on my my bike, so it, I, I'm I'm interesting, or I'm interesting, yeah, I hope I'm interesting. I'm interested in how this windshield performs because I have not ridden a motorcycle with a windshield before. It's gonna be pretty interesting. We're supposed to go on the freeway here. Or, or maybe not. I guess we're not. Never mind. Well, we are going 55 miles an hour. Around 60, I would usually get extreme wind buffeting. Sometimes 55, 50 to 55. Sometimes on my bike. But you know what? Man, this thing, it performs better than my fairing. That's cool. I like windshields. And this one looks pretty cool because it's blacked out right here. It's not all clear, which is kind of bleh, in my opinion. I don't know. It looks kind of 70-ish or something. But I'm surprised. Man, this thing's got awesome lean angle. I just like dumped it into that corner. Wow. I like it, guys. I like it a lot. Harley-Davidson nailed it with these 
with these frames because they don't handle like the old Harley Davidson. And not at all. They handle far superior. They're far superior. There's your gas, and this is like decorative on the left side. I'm pretty sure anyone who's watching this video has already watched plenty of other videos of people riding these things and giving their comment commentary. Woo! It's kind of hard without the sissy bar. I'm not used to those blinkers. Yeah, this definitely needs a sissy bar for sure. And of course, there's plenty, plenty, plenty of options, but this thing is great, guys. We're about to come up on the turn and come back to the dealer, but wow. If you are anti-Harley, but you're watching the video, which would be kind of weird, um, just go test ride it, man. I love motorcycles in general. I'll get to, if I could test ride, any bike it don't matter what it is I don't care if it's a Chinese bike I am gonna try to test ride it that being said this is a great bike guys I got some more to test but yeah this thing is it's amazing guys you need to go ride it even if you're anti Harley <laughs> still ride it uh, but ride what you ride guys keep a VB's mode and ride till the wheels fall off this has been another random weekday video by your very own V-Beast. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Most of all, have a V-Beast day.